December is already sneaking up on us and it's time to get some planning done for the next couple weeks. I'm going to be doing the gingerbread theme so I have a whole bunch of activities here laid out so I can see what I'm doing and get it all prepped and organized so that we're ready for when the kids come. The first thing that we're going to be working on are these little stockings. This is something I want to hang in the room all month long. So they can pick red or green. I printed this template on cardstock and then they'll paint them with the little wiki sticks and then embellish them any way they want with these little stickers and then I'm gonna write their name up top and then when it's time to go for winter break I'm gonna glue this little paper bag onto the back of this cutout stocking and fill it up with just some little treats and snacks and goodies for the children to take home. So this month I thought it was the perfect chance to be doing the five senses and this is a little senses book that I found it's a free printable and I'll put the link for that but each page we can work on this maybe daily or once a week and you put a real life object in there and it'll be a fun little book for them to take home. Next for the five senses I wanted to have some scent jars and I took these spice jars and I made some labels and put those on top and I'm going to put a little drop of essential oils on some cotton balls and glue those lids on so they can smell those different smells and then these are going to be sound jars so we'll have jingle bells we'll put a little bit of this play snow in and those labels will go on those so they can shake those jars up and they can hear the sounds and probably just using a repurposed water bottle. Next I've made these little signs and I'm going to be hanging these on the wall and I'll pull them down and we'll use them for group discussion. So just basically things that the children see around them, common things in winter and the month of December and we can talk about the senses that are used and have some good discussions for the five senses using those cute cards. I made these on Canva and I will share that link with you so that you can have these as well along with those little labels that I made for the sensory jars. We're going to be doing some gingerbread play-doh. This is a recipe I found and these are some little freebie gingerbread play-doh mats so we'll have those out and then also I have some cookie cutters here and some little tiny cookie cutters. I think I found those at Walmart. I'm gonna make a separate batch of play-doh that does not have the oil in it and they can make a little keepsake ornament with this gingerbread man cookie cutter. They can put some eyes in that and some little buttons, poke a hole in the top at a little string so that they can take it home for a keepsake. This is kind of fun. These are letter ornaments. I will let each child paint the page that the first letter of their name is on with the dot paints and then I'll cut them out, laminate them, and we can decorate the room with them. With this gingerbread template, I printed it out onto some brown cardstock and we're going to make an ornament as well with this one and I'll let them decorate it with these little glitter glue sticks and then I'm going to cut a picture out in a circle and we'll glue glue that on to the top of the gingerbread. My daughter made these when she was in kindergarten and it's just so cute. We still have it in her cute little face on that gingerbread mat. So then we'll punch a hole in the top of that, probably laminate it, put a little string so it can be hung up. And then this one is just going to be a prop since we're doing the gingerbread man story. We'll probably have them do something really simple like watercolor it and then put these cute little eyes on there. I think this was meant to be just a laminated thing but I'm going to turn it into a gluing activity activity the kids really enjoy doing these so I'll cut these out and they can glue these onto their little house and design their own gingerbread house the way that they like and if you wanted to take this even a step further into maybe making this a two-part project you could glue this gingerbread house on a larger piece of paper and make a little gingerbread house scene simply by taking some white tempera paint and letting the children dip q-tips in the paint and make some little snowflakes falling around their scene and decorate their scene with some snow using the q-tips and the white tempera paint incorporating a little bit of process art and some fine motor these are just little wood cuts that I found at the dollar store I think just another added activity they're little ornaments and they have a little string and a hole in those ready to go and then we will be decorating these little white bags to make gift bags by stamping cookie cutters in different colored paint and decorating those gift bags I found these stampers at 
the dollar store these will be great to set up a little stamping tray put them in our writing center just a good little bit of fine motor also for some fine motor are these lacing cards that are gingerbread men for circle time these were cute little props that were brand new ones by teaching two and three year olds also I found these little jingle bell bracelets and so those will be fun to sing jingle bells with and then also we have the gingerbread man story props so I will either put these on a big stick or put velcro on them I might try to make a belt board for these either way I think those will be great in the writing center I have a whole bunch of different cute coloring pages that I have found that I can add daily I printed out these templates several different ones here also we have our dot sticker pages next of course in our dramatic play we're going to be setting up the gingerbread bakery I'll just simply put out my Melissa and Doug cookie set with the signs on the wall they play with those cookies non-stop they'll have fun with those all month long in my sensory bin I think I'm gonna just do a bunch of pom-poms with these little tweezers I have some magnet ones there I think I'll put some jingle bells in there and ice cube trays for them to fill with pom-poms and jingle bells I have this little gingerbread man mold I think I'm gonna make some ice molds and the children can paint those with watercolors I might make this into an outdoor activity so something that they can be doing outside and then later on in the next couple weeks we will actually just bake some gingerbread in this mold and we can have that as a little snack here are several matching cards that I have made up we've got the gingerbread color matching counting gingerbread men and all different colors and then these ones I'm going to use like a matching game and so we'll turn these all over on the floor like that and then the children will try to find the matches by turning them over and then this one is very cute matching the right gingerbread man face with the right emotion card and then also we have these gingerbread shape matching cards I love my Jan Brett books I'm always very excited to bring these out in addition to reading the gingerbread man story here's a new lesson planning sheet I will put my canva link for that in the description whatever makes your life easier but I hope this helps I hope this gives you some good ideas and inspiration for the gingerbread theme within the next week or so I'll post a new video of the kids playing with these materials so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out